Runway edge lights are provided for a runway intended for use at night or for a precision approach runway intended for use by day or night. Runway edge lights shall be provided on a runway intended for takeoff with operating minima set below an RVR of 800 meters by day. They shall be placed along the full length of a runway and shall be in two parallel rows equidistant from the center line. They will be along the edge of the area declared to be usable as a runway or outside the edges of the area but not more than three meters away. They shall be uniformly spaced along the runway at intervals of not more than 60 meters for an instrument runway or intervals of not more than 100 meters for a non-instrument runway. They shall show white but if the threshold is displaced then the displaced element shall be edged in red lights in the approach direction. On some runways, particularly those without centerline lights, the runway edge lights will turn yellow to warn pilots that the end of the runway is fast approaching. This yellow caution zone covers the final third or 600 meters of the runway, whichever is the lesser distance. Runway edge lights shall show at all angles of azimuth necessary to provide the pilot with guidance whilst landing or taking off. All such lights shall show at angles of 15 degrees above the horizontal, with intensity adequate for the conditions of visibility and ambient light that the runway is designed for. Runway threshold lights shall be provided at a runway equipped with runway edge lighting, except on a non-instrument or non-precision approach runway, where the runway is displaced and wing bar lights are provided. When the threshold is at the extremity of the runway, Threshold lights should be placed in a row at right angles to the runway axis, as near to the end as possible, and in any case, not more than three meters outside the extremity. Threshold lights shall consist of at least six lights on non-instrument runways or non-precision approach runways. On a precision approach CAT-1 runway, consist of at least the number of lights that would be required if the lights were uniformly spaced at intervals of three meters between the runway edge lights and on precision approach CAT 2 and CAT 3 runways consist of lights uniformly spaced between the runway edge lights at intervals of not more than three meters. Wing bar lights shall be provided on non-instrument or non-precision runways where the threshold is displaced and threshold lights are not provided. They indicate where the threshold starts. They shall be symmetrically disposed about the runway center line at the threshold in two groups or wing bars. Each bar shall be at least five lights, extending at least 10 meters outwards from the line of the runway edge lights with the innermost light of each bar in line with the runway edge lights. Runways that have edge lights shall have runway end lights. They are fixed, unidirectional red lights of an intensity that is suitable for the prevalent conditions. They will be positioned at right angles to the runway axis between the runway edge lights not more than three meters outside the end and consist of at least six equally spaced lights. On a precision approach CAT-3 runway, the lights shall not be spaced further apart than six meters. On precision approach CAT-2 or CAT-3 runways, white runway centerline lights shall be provided. They should also be installed on CAT-1 runways, particularly if the runway is used by aircraft with high landing speeds or the runway has a width greater than 50 meters. Should the RVR drop below 400 meters, then runway lights must be switched on. The lights shall be positioned along the center line of the runway, but if this is not possible, they may all be uniformly offset by up to 60 centimeters. The lights shall run from the threshold to the runway end at the spacings shown here. 7.5 meters or 15 meters on a precision approach runway, CAT-3, 
7.5 meters, 15 meters, or 30 meters on a precision approach runway CAT 2 or other runway for which lights are provided. Center line guidance for takeoff from the beginning of a runway paved area to the displaced threshold should be provided by an approach lighting system if its characteristics and intensity settings afford the required guidance during takeoff and it does not dazzle the pilot, or runway centerline lights, or barrettes of at least 3 meters in length and spaced uniformly at 30 meter intervals of an intensity that does not dazzle a pilot taking off. Centerline lights providing guidance to the threshold must be capable of being extinguished and similarly utilized approach lighting must be capable of having its intensity reduced to enable landing aircraft to properly identify the displaced runway threshold. An example is shown here. Touchdown zone lights should be provided on precision approach CAT 2 and CAT 3 runways. They will extend from the threshold for a distance of 900 meters, except on runways less than 1800 meters in length. The system is shortened not to extend beyond the middle of the runway. The pattern of light shall be formed by paired barrettes symmetrically located about the center line. Touchdown lights shall be fixed unidirectional lights showing white. An example is shown here. Rapid exit taxiway indicator lights provide pilots with distance to go information to the nearest rapid exit taxiway on a runway to enhance situational awareness in low visibility conditions and enable pilots to apply braking action for more efficient rollout and runway exit speed. Six yellow lights adjacent to the runway center line, configured as shown here, are spaced 100 meters apart. The single light being 100 meters from the rapid exit taxiway. Stopway lights shall be provided for the full length of the stopway and be in two parallel rows that are equidistant from the center line and coincident with the rows of the runway edge lights. They will also be provided across the end of the runway. The lights will be fixed unidirectional lights showing red in the direction of the runway. You can see an example of the layout here.